All right, so now that you've purchased, downloaded, activated, and installed your multi-track, let's talk about a couple different ways in which we could use them. Well, first of all, let's talk about the most obvious one in that we can use these multi-tracks to practice our mixing skills. So for example, if I hop over to the chorus section, let's start rebuilding this mix using these multi-tracks. Bring in our guitars, bring in our vocals. Maybe we want to hop back to the beginning and bring in our effects. Now, in addition to being able to adjust the faders, obviously we have the plugins that are included within Studio One as well. So if I wanted to make some adjustments to the drum stem or the percussion stem. Now, one other thing I want to point out with respect to these songs is that if you take a look up at the top over here, you'll see these different sections and within these sections, you'll see a name. So for example, we have pre-chorus and if we zoom in a little bit, you'll see break, chorus, break, verse. These are arranger sections and they're very unique to Studio One. So they function similar to marker tracks and other DAWs with one major difference. Let's say that I wanted to make some edits to this multi-track or to this arrangement or this production in general. Maybe I wanted to double up this verse section over here and I wanted to re-record myself doing the second verse. I could quite simply use a key command by selecting this arranger section, use my D key command, and now I could potentially have the artist singing the first verse and then maybe I wanted to come in and re-record a second verse. Now, another thing that we could do is we could make some edits in terms of removing things. So let's take a listen to this section over here. So there's a break within this song and it goes from the chorus into the verse. So maybe in this section, I actually don't wanna have a break. So one thing that I could do is simply drag and drop this verse over the break section. And now I've essentially replaced that all together. So let's have a quick listen to the bridge over here. We have a bridge that goes into a chorus. Maybe I wanna take this instrumental section and I wanna have it play in between the bridge and the chorus. So that's something we can do as well. We simply drag and drop. And if we place our cursor in between these two arranger sections, you'll notice we have the option to insert versus replace. So let's do that. Now we've taken our bridge section and we've added the instrumental in between. Now, if I wanted to use that instrumental section, but I wanted to make a duplicate versus taking this one from this location by holding down the Alter Option modifier key, that's something I can do as well. So now I've simply inserted a copy of the instrumental in between the bridge and the chorus. So the arranger sections are an amazing tool to use, especially if you're looking to remix or edit or adjust these multi-tracks and flesh out new production ideas. So we've spoken about re-recording different elements. This could be a vocal or a bass guitar if you wanted to play along to one of your favorite artists or maybe take your own stab at a guitar solo or something like that. Let's talk about something else. Maybe I wanted to take a shot at programming my own drums. So if we listen to this percussion section over here. Maybe I wanted to use the software instruments that are included directly within Studio One and I wanted to program some new drums. So if we open up our browser, we can scroll over to the instruments and I can just navigate to a preset. In this case, I'm using a preset that's included in Impact XT. Once I've found something that I'm happy with, simply drag and drop this into the arrangement area and now we can start laying down some new drums. So first things first, let's just bring down the level of these a little bit so that they're not too loud. And now we have the option to create our own drum patterns. So let's use another tool that's unique to Studio One. In this case, I'm gonna just select one of these arranger tracks and I'm going to use the P key to loop that section. Now I'm gonna activate my loop and now if I hold down Alt or Option and double click, you'll notice that I've inserted a pattern part. Now a pattern part is something else that's really unique to Studio One in that it allows you to sequence your drum patterns based on a sequencer type display. So for example, Let's take our bass drum and I could put down a simple four on the floor. Maybe we'll bring the volume down a little bit. Maybe we need a clap here. Let's start with clap one. Maybe we'll layer that with clap two. We could put a snare drum.
we could put some hi-hats in here. And now we've just re-sequenced a new set of drums to go along with this production. Of course, we could add the original drums or we could mute the original drums. We have some other options here as well. So for example, I could adjust the velocity, the repeat or the probability of some of these. So maybe I want to do some different velocities or I could just drag and adjust these velocities like this. Maybe I want to add a simple repeat. Let's bring in the original drums. So really the sky's the limit in terms of your creative potential. Now the really exciting thing about doing this type of work is when you're working with tracks that are well known. So for example, some of the other songs that I mentioned that are available as multi-tracks, having the ability to play along with B.B. King or maybe sing harmony to Marvin Gaye, that type of stuff is pretty phenomenal. So anyways, that's using multi-tracks within Studio One. And the one thing I want to point out here is, as you would imagine, that certain functions directly within Studio One, for example, exporting mixdown and things like that have been disabled with the multi-tracks. Now, the obvious reason here is that we have copyright laws and things that we have to take into account. So basically, when you're wanting to work with your multi-tracks, you need to be working within Studio One. And this would give you the ability to either record virtual instruments or live audio tracks and edit all of these arrangements as needed, but any options for exporting mix downs and things like that have obviously been disabled. So that is working with multi-tracks in Studio One. My name is Marcus Huskins and I've been here on behalf of Mix the Music. I hope you enjoyed this video and we will catch you in the next one. Cheers.